So here we go. Let's get into discussing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Like adults, like real gamers, like fans of the franchise, fans of the genre of tactical shooters, and just really discuss the ins and outs of what's good and what's bad in this game. So, right off the bat, what is good? Like I've said before, I think the animations are great. Uh, the animations definitely need tweaking in some areas still. But other than that, man, the animations are really good. There are issues where if you're behind cover, snapped on the cover, they took out the shoulder swap. That needs to be fixed. They need to add the shoulder swap back. So when you're sitting behind cover, you can swap from one side to the next. Um, there are little things that I realized that I complained about in the past that I wrote down so I wouldn't forget. When you're killing enemies and they die, you can now continue to shoot them. Whereas in the old game, in Wildlands, you would shoot them and the bullets would go right through their bodies, wouldn't even react. Now there's blood splatter and you could still shoot a guy when he's down and feel the impact. I think that's really great. These are little things off the top of my head that I remember right away because these are things that I always complained about. The game itself, the story, I feel like it falls, it falls flat. The design falls flat around everything, all the components of the game because you can't immerse yourself right off the bat from the beginning there's too many things on the map for you to find there's too many crates to loot there's too much loot dropping from enemies there's also an issue where sometimes you have to grab an enemy to gain get information and if you play with the enemy icons off you can't see which enemy to grab so you have to put those enemy icons on so something I would like to see changed is separating that in, in the UI where I could take their icons off but keep the information icon above their head to let me know, oh, I gotta, I gotta grab that guy and get information from him. Um, there's an issue with, in the beginning you see some, some hand, hand kills, hand stealth kills, and... I don't know how to access them. You guys let me know in the comments if you do. There's no way to unequip your knife. And once you get into the game, it's all knife kills. But I've seen hand-to-hand -hand combat kills. And I don't know if it's just random. But I'd like to see an option to remove the knife and just do hand combat stealth kills. Or hand stealth kills. That would be cool. Um, A big... One of the biggest issues for me in the game, playing it now for over a week, has to be sliding for the character. I put I put that joke video a while back, summing up the game in one video, and there's a bunch of people falling down hills, and that remains true a week later. They need to tweak and fix what makes you actually fall and stumble down a hill, because you could be on a hill like this, which is easily navigable, navigable, navigatable. I don't know. You you figure it out. You know what I'm saying. It's it's easily. It's <laughs> it's easy to navigate your way down these hills, <laughs> and yeah, I swear this guy just falls and slips and slides everywhere. This is my main gripe. Besides bugs and all that, that needs to get fixed 100% because, boy, is that annoying. It's They programmed it so they want you to be crouched and they want you to slowly go down a hill. But if the hill's like this, I mean, come on, man. I don't have to be crouched to go down a hill like that. That's a real, real, real big issue for me. So, uh, the AI... The AI still needs a lot of work, and I'm going to be honest, it's not going to get it. This is the same problem we had in Wildlands, and it's the same problem we have in Breakpoint. Not necessarily 
the specifically the AI, but having issues with in-game mechanics that will never get resolved, that they'll only try to work on for the next game. But I don't see a step forward here in this game from Wildlands with things that mattered. You know, missions, even even things like the way they created missions, you go, like, let's say this, right? This is the map, this entire screen that I'm on. They'll give you a mission here, and they'll make you go all the way over here, and then all the way over here, and then all the way over. And it's like, dude, it was so much better structured in Wildlands, where there was a province right here, and you worked your way in that province, and you worked your way in this province. It... it it can make things feel so much more organic that way because another issue I have with the game is the random spread of enemies all over the place. Not that I don't like them. It, it, it gives you something to do when going from objective A to objective B or base 1 to base 2. It gives you something in between. But it's so scattered and random. Here's dudes fixing bikes. Here's dudes next to bikes. Here's dude... Uh, Messing with a civilian with a, a police drone. Here's another set of dudes patrolling. And it's just so random. Instead of it being something like patrolling wolves. This is something I was thinking about. They did that whole series on the big bad wolves hunting you. I made a video on that. I kind of mocked it. I thought it was a little silly. But they did that whole video. Like, you know, you're getting hunted by wolves. And the game comes out and there's none of that. And it reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Snake Eater. When there was that one boss, he was a sniper boss out in the middle of the jungle. And I don't know why it reminds me of this, but... There's no... There's no nothing feels... When I say organic... Like, I mean, nothing feels organic as in it's immersive and it feels right. The guys with bikes all over the place, it just feels programmed. It feels like they created these doodads. They created these these little these little components of men on bikes, men fixing bikes, and they just said plop 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 plop. Instead of having your missions basically all right here, instead of going all over the place, so you just end up fast traveling and skipping most of everything. If you if you concentrated your missions and made people walk from one place to the next hop in a, a car or something you could have wolves patrolling in the jungle in the mountains between these areas hunting nomad and i brought up the metal gear solid thing because there's never a point in time where you're walking through the jungle and there's a sniper team with uh c4 laid out or mines there's no booby traps. There, there's, there's nothing that makes you feel like you are being hunted by these wolves, which I thought was a really, really big missed opportunity for Ubisoft, given the nature of this game of being behind enemy lines hunted by these wolves. But you don't feel any of that in-game. There's only up oh, the drone spotted you, Boom, you hear the bumblebee drones fly around and wolves come out of nowhere. That's the only time you really feel that action. When in all reality, if you would design the game better and stop making people go from one side of the map to the other for all these missions, and you made it more more, more of a, a laid out structure where we're bouncing back and forth in an area and then expanding outward, you would be able to program wolves in areas that you know the player would would eventually come across and instead of having these guys on bikes just sitting there for us to just walk up to and kill it would be the opposite scenario where we're walking and all of a sudden boom we get blown up by c4 and sniper fire starts hitting us and all of a sudden there are wolves on the mountains it would make you feel like oh i gotta i gotta be careful around here I'm outside these, I'm in the jungle outside these bases. There might be wolves out here looking for me. You don't get any of that. And this is the problem programmers, uh, not programmers, more, more designers, the people designing the content and saying, this is what we want. We want this here and this here. When the game feels like a game, 
and it feels less like you're going through an actual story and the actual trials and tribulations of this character, you lose a lot of immersion. And the, in the majority of the time, when, when us as the players, when we have to force that immersion by not doing certain things, that, um, for instance, uh, what's his name? Um, Virtual Chris. Shout out to Virtual Chris out there. I see you on the forums all the time. He 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 had a post that I can't find it now. I don't know where it probably got buried. So so many posts happened so quick. Where he was talking about restricting himself. He wants to go um to a bivouac every once in a while to rest his character. The character doesn't need rest. He's gonna go on as few vehicles as possible and traverse from one area to the next. When you design a game and your players have to do this on their own to feel more immersed, you have a problem with your design philosophy. And this leads back to my point. I know guys like that who want to stay immersed as much as possible. When you have a mission here and then the next mission is six miles here, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to fast travel. And so when you're designing your game around fast traveling, you've already failed. You've already failed your, 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 your number one mission for the game, which is to tell an intriguing story and keep the, keep the player engaged in what the character is doing. There's no engagement when I have to continuously fast travel to all these spots to bounce around for a story. How hard is it to just take this sector of the map how do i do this sector of the map right in the corner and just have missions bounce around here to figure out what's going on before i move to another sector very much like wildlands you you knocked out each province and it felt like a province you were working on and, and completing it felt more engaging that way there was intel there and it led to more things in that province and you can pick up uh, some guns and, and, and some accessories and things of that nature. And you see uh, tr resource trucks uh, rolling back and forth that you, would, that you can uh, attack and ambush. But when it comes to, the f to, to really nailing what they want to do here, I feel like there's just a huge missed opportunity with these wolves. They're either in a base. Once in a while, you'll see them patrolling. You'll see them out in the world next to uh, uh, mini behemoth drones, the little car drones, whatever you want to call them. And like, that's it. That's it, man. There's never a point of time where you're walking in this game and you get ambushed by other NPCs. And I think that that would be a really, really cool addition to a game like this. So that was that's a that's a big issue the the storytelling where it takes you where you know i'm already i don't know how far in i am in the game not not far i think i'm um gear score around 40 or 50. i'm still rolling out with one primary that's another issue you guys you sat there and you fixed issues for two years for us in wildlands you created an entirely new game and you ignored all those issues you fixed in your new game. So you already have characters, uh, characters, you already have players like Bone Frog, who uh, I saw right on a post, who was like, yo, I went as far as I could with one primary. And it's like, it's like, it is what it is at this point. I got to roll out with two primaries because you're, you're gimped and your gear score and, and what the game is dropping you. I'm gear score 40 something right now on my one profile and I'm, I still have one primary out. It just looks way better in my opinion, just having the one primary. But, you know, eventually am I going to have to roll out with two? Probably. Now, how is this solved? Simple. Ubisoft. And you guys, if you hear this, splatter on, on the forums. Now, this is, a pro, this is where your programmers come in. Programmers need to take your top two guns in your inventory. Matter of fact, it should be your top. I said this in, I think, my beta review. 
however many you know there's a hat a chest a pants uh boots um two primaries and a and a and a pistol take all those all of those in your inventory and just take the top one and put it towards your gear score and that's it worst case scenario all you have to do is do that with the guns because we don't mind going in there and changing out our clothes real quick because we have the customized clothes anyway but for our primary weapons go into your code take the top two primary guns that we have in our inventory and calculate that towards our gear score let us unequip our one primary and if we want to continuously go back to the menu and change our guns that's our business all right if we if we want to equip the second gun for a raid and then we, we go back in the world unequip that gun so we just have one let us do it why do you guys pigeonhole us into these weird these it makes no sense we asked for this in wildlands and you gave us ghost war uh ghost war you gave us ghost mode right and that was your way of saying okay here you go you didn't even implement it in the in the in the base game or maybe you did not and i just didn't realize it but it took you forever to do it how did you not do that for breakpoint is beyond me and i really don't understand it because there are things there's there are things that your community asked for for years and it and you finally got around to it and then you threw it out the window on breakpoint it makes no sense um the 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 wheel our item wheel why now on pc you can memorize in buttons in your buttons and uh you can still click buttons to take out your 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 pc uh your um your items oh just had a a, a brain freeze there for a second because i want to get this because i'm trying to lead to what i really want to get to which is why in wildlands did i have access to everything on my keyboard and in breakpoint you decided to give me only six options that i could switch in and out so you made things more complicated for us why would you do that that makes absolutely no sense so if i have grenades my class grenade or whatever and then another c4 that's two items that i have to keep swapping out you purposely making us go back to a menu why would you design that why would you design anything like that when in wildlands it was use your mine your grenade your c4 use whatever you want just press the button and it's there now it's okay i gotta put grenades c4 up oh, wait i want mines now let me go into my menu switch out to c4 for the mines and then i could press the buttons on the wheel that entire wheel was why did you why did you design that you had the system perfect in wildlands if i want to throw a grenade i'm gonna throw a grenade if i want to take c4 i'm gonna throw it stop making me go back to a menu and i know that's not going to change but you guys are really dumb for even programming that for even designing that it was it was stupid how are you going backwards you literally are going backwards in your design philosophy so that's something that really pisses me off you know how upsetting it is that in the middle of a fight i have to switch to rockets c4 grenades mines it's 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 ridiculous and then you you really only gave only gave us two slots besides our our class slot so there's water medkit syringe grenade class slot grenade so whatever you want here sink shot c4 mine frag so i could throw a frag throw c4 in the middle of a fight run pause whoop whoop put in something else do a little something pause whoop whoop rocket launcher now pause I don't know how you guys sat there and said, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's do this. The more we can keep these guys in a menu, the more fun they're going to have. So not only are we constantly going back to our menu for to switch our clothes, which now I'm going to get into, but we have to constantly go back to our menu just to switch out frag grenades and C4 and mines. 
when you had that system perfectly in your last game. And getting into the menu, it should be called Ghost Recon, Ghost Recon Breakpoint Menu. It should be Ghost Recon Menu, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Because bottom line is, holy shit. Did no one sit there and say to themselves, you know, guys, we're designing this uh, this loot system and it might be a little too much. It might be a little too much loot. The people are going to be going into their menu way too much. A new hat, new gloves, new pants, new this, new that. Just to get your gear score up, just so we could set an arbitrary number for enemy tier levels, which is what it feels like. So the enemies are a little bit harder. They'll kill you a little bit faster. So we'll make an arbitrary gear score uh, system. So you have to consistently upgrade your gear. It made absolutely no sense. None of it makes sense, guys. How can players sitting here play the game for one day and and right off the bat say, yo, this is bad. And you guys designed the entire thing and you moved forward with it and you didn't realize how bad it was. I, it, it makes no sense. I, I'm not one for calling out for people for getting fired. I think people losing their, losing their livelihood is bad. But there needs to be some... Uh, some type of consequence for the people behind these design decisions. Not the programmers, not the art team, the people who sat there and designed these ideas and then handed them over to the people who made them, those people need to be reprimanded or given a freaking warning or, or I don't know, you know, busted down to private <laughs> because these are some of the worst decisions I've ever seen in a game ever, ever. In any game I've ever played, this game is a mess of mixed matched systems and components smushed together. It makes no sense. Did no one out there realize that, hey, we have this tactical shooter that people are going to want to engage an enemy base in a certain way. If we start making six chests pop up. Five different intel pieces, collectibles, as well as loot dropping from enemies. And then we tie all that into important parts of the game. So they're going to have to go get it. We're going to completely ruin what the game is all about. People are no longer going to feel like they're immersed in the game. And they're just going to be running around the chests just to get that gear score up. Which is what I'm actually doing. I've realized early on, um, I can't really play this game right now the way I want to which is the HUD off and taking things slow. Uh, I have to consistently be reminded of what's around me. So I'm not even playing on extreme right now. I'm playing the shit on easy with the only thing I, I decided to take off, which I discussed before is usually enemy markers, enemies. I usually take the mini map off, which I have to leave on, but I took the enemies off the mini map. But then I realized I have to confront enemies and get intel from them. So I have to leave their markers above their head. It's just a mess, man. You, it, it just, it's, it's an absolute mess. And there's so many things that need to be fixed bug wise that I'm not even getting into. I'm talking about uh, making this game better from a, from a point of view where it could be designed and things can be implemented. Bugs are a totally different thing. I'm not going to get into how the cars drive or getting stuck on things. You know how many times I jumped up on something and I just sat there in the drop and the falling animation and I could just spin around. It was ridiculous. And I had to, uh, the only way you can get out of that is the fast travel. But there's, it's just a mess of a game right now. And I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through it to the point where see how high I could get my gear score. If it's good enough just for the raids, and get to the point where I could really play the game, meaning I could just shut everything off and enjoy it and just r roll around and stumble upon a base and clear the base out and not have to see a mini map or things pop up. And the stupid, the stupid thing they added, uh, uh, join players that little Christmas tree light on, on the side of the screen. It's like right here. And it just, it just flashes when you're near a bivouac, join players, join players, join players, like 
do you guys think you 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 have a bunch of six-year-olds playing this game that we don't know if we wanted to join players we would be able to figure it out figure it out you really had someone there in your design team say hey you know it's a good idea a, a big christmas tree yellow light that goes join players join players join players right here no one will care they'll like it they'll like to see the big christmas tree light blinking right here saying join players join players it's probably the same idiot who said let's take the assassin's creed uh loot crates and put them everywhere i don't even know if that's a far cry thing i never played far cry the first time first time i experienced that was assassin's creed odyssey where it's just chests everywhere but at least in odyssey there was a a, a somewhat of a fantasy rpg ish feel where i was kind of like ah whatever uh, uh even though i know hardcore ac fans were probably like what the hell is this this is retarded which it was and it's even worse than breakpoint no one i should not be walking over to a chest even that you guys were too lazy to make a, a gun rack replace the chest with a gun rack with a bunch of guns or i don't know man something different why am I why am I looting Lara Croft chests? It doesn't make sense. I feel like I'm Link. Every time I loot a chest, I hear you received a new hat. It's just, yo, dude, it is really, really, really ridiculous. And I know that these videos end up coming off as like a rant and everything that's bad. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good here. I still am enjoying the game tremendously. I still like the gunplay. I still, like I said, I like the animations. I like the enemies. Hell, I was walking around with a stoner the other day, and guess what I saw? I shot a dude, and he actually reacted to bullets, which means that that programming is there. They decided to allow 9 out of 10 guns to not make them do that. But maybe with the heavy-duty guns, the guys react when getting shot. And I was shooting wolves, and he was just like, do -do 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 -do, and he spun around and died. Uh, you know, I've had videos on that where I talk about enemies reacting to, to getting shot, which would make the gunplay 10 times better, in my opinion. Um, because you ever try to shoot a dude in the leg to have him stumble so you could run up on him and maybe grab intel from him and you shoot him in the leg and he just sits there like this. <laughs> That's a mosquito bite for me, buddy. So... What else do I have? Uh, missions, the stories. The story is okay. It's nothing spectacular about the story. Um, the cutscenes are mundane. I was talking to the girl for the AI, and I told her that her staff was killed, and she was like, "Oh my god, that's terrible." But then she went on to like, "Yo, there's no emotion. It's flat. It's just." Obviously, we're not playing this game for um, the single player uh, campaign and story, but I even thought the Wildlands cutscenes at every safe house was better. Talking to all the people, uh, Karen Bowman was way more better. She was a way better character than anything I've seen here yet. I guess Fox is pretty cool. Um, that was another thing. Fox. <laughs> Fox had a cutscene early on where he was like, I forget what it was. Maybe when I saved Jay Skell, he was like, yeah, my homie. And I was sitting there like, oh man, they definitely have young idiots making these games. Like they, whoever's in charge of Ubisoft, they think getting young talent into this team is, is might, must be good. But do you know how dumb it looks for a 60 year, that guy looks old, Fox. For 60 year old computer programmer nerd to be like, hey, hey, my homie, like that would never happen. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes, <laughs> that's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes, but I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad, really. 
I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. That, that vocabulary is not, that word is not in that man's vocabulary. It's ridiculous. So it's little things like that accompanied with the, the fact that everyone's like, oh, you're making me anxious, blah, blah, blah. And I put up a video yesterday about uh, Stone talking about the terrorist nomad killed this guy, blah, blah, blah. So maybe people on the island think you're a bad guy. Which still makes the dialogue between you and the civilians even worse. Why? Because why would anyone talk to a terrorist killer on the loose like that? Yes, they should all be scared. And maybe when you save them, there should be a, a, a moment of reflection like, oh, thanks. You know, I, we were told you were bad, but you saved me. Thank you. But instead, it's just like, Oh, I'm scared. Walk up to him. Press a button to interact. Hey, can you help me? Oh, yeah. Yuck, if you could see that over here. Thanks, stranger. That ends, and then they go back to... Oh, oh, yeah. Leave me alone. You're in my personal space. I have anxiety. Like, none of this shit makes sense. Everything is just designed to the point where it's all bad. It's all bad. And like I said... It was unless you use your imagination like you're a 10 year old and immerse yourself in this game in a certain way everything the game throws at you from a design standpoint is just out the window man it is bad none of it none of it makes sense for this game for this franchise and you know what we all said it in ott1 we all said it in ott2 we all said it in the closed beta we all said it in the open beta now they launched it OTT1 was what? Back in June? I don't even remember. Was it July? I would have to look back to see. So they had 90 days to maybe do a few different things. Change some voices. But none of that can get done. None of that because the game was so shipped, so broken, that they couldn't even fix these little things that don't make sense. But... How could you not design it right from the get-go? Who the hell thought of these interactions with these people? I don't want to get any more into that. Uh, that could go on forever. Okay, here's something. Well, I was talking about the shoulder swap before, right? How about this, Ubisoft programmers? How about you stop auto-swapping for us when we're on walls? And you stop trying to fix it for us? And you let us as the players control our character how we see fit. If I walk up to a wall, let's say I'm walking up to this wall, right? And my crosshair is on this side. And I walk up and you know how it'll like, it'll auto put you on this side. Like stop doing shit like that. And just give me a button to swap shoulders, which we have. But once you're locked against the wall, it won't let you shoulder swap. So stop programming things that automatically do things for us and start giving us freedom with options like that. The things that you've done right with programming are all animation based. You could tell in the animations, the turns, the jumps, the, 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 the walking down hills besides the sliding, the creeping, all the animations are absolutely fantastic. The artwork is fantastic. Whoever made the land... Kudos to you. Could have, uh, from what I've seen so far, I don't really see uh, where people live. So that could have been added. But besides that, that's a great job. Animation team, great job. The shooting feels really good. All that is done well. It's the execution of all the things that engage us. Storytelling, interaction with NPCs, civilians... It all falls flat, man. It all falls flat. Um, the parachute. 
right so i saw bone frog put a video up this the other day so shout out bone frog you know i'm following your channel now I'm trying to give you some support grow your channel so keep pumping out the content i saw you put the video up with the the parachute saying you know a lot of people thought that the parachute was broken but you think it works better but i but I think a lot of people think the parachute is broken and I know from my perspective is because in wildlands nine out of ten times I can run towards a cliff and spam the parachute button and he and he would release it whereas you whereas in your video you did more of like a base jump you walked over and the base jump worked which I don't think that ever worked for me in wildlands so I hear what you're saying with the base jumping but as it is now, if I run towards a, a cliff, spamming the parachute button, I'm having a hard time getting the parachute to work. My guy just ends up jumping down and falling. So I don't know what the issue is with the parachutes. Some people are saying it works good. Some people are saying it's broken. Something needs to be done there. I think maybe some people are trying to parachute in areas that they don't want you to parachute off of. So that could be understand, uh, understandable, especially coming from Wildlands where, like I said, you could basically jump off any cliff that had enough space. And if you sprinted towards it and smashed that parachute button, he would release. So at least that was my experience. And right now I'm having a little issues with that. So yeah, whatever. And oh, here's one. I have gripes with the way they program a lot of the hold to execute actions. Hold to grab this, hold to grab that. I don't know why I can't just press the button. Why when I'm standing next to Intel, do I have to hold the action button? Why can't I just press it? Why when I walk up to a bad guy, do I have to hold to grab him? Why can't I just press it? Just like how I get to press the the uh, stealth kill animation, I just have to press it, boom, he does it. Why can't I press the button to grab him? It's always I got to hold, hold, hold. Stop making me hold these buttons to do actions and just program it better. It's probably the most annoying thing and why so many things feel broken. I go up to a ladder, I press it 50 times, then I try to hold it, which I shouldn't have to because it's a press. That's another thing, climbing up ladders, between falling down hills and climbing up ladders, these are the hardest bosses in the game. And um, a lot of complaining on YouTube. And I swear to God, these YouTube channels suck. I don't even care at this point. I'll, I'll, I'll straight up call them all out like yo your content sucks man and i'm really i'm just talking to the people who they have huge followings and all they do is put up shit just shitting on things there's no there's no rhyme or reason to what they're saying other than oh this sucks there's no there are never ever videos on discussing how to make something better there's never videos on really sitting down and and, and trying to format a, a a a thought a cohesive thought on how they can get something across to the developers that could actually improve in the game. You got a guy like me. I sit here. I make these videos. Thank shout out to all you guys who come watch and you engage with me on 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 in my comments and whatnot. You got someone like me. This, these videos aren't going anywhere besides for, for us. You know, Ubisoft actually, they actually bring out guys to talk to them who have huge channels. And you know what? I'm looking at these channels and, yo, your content is fucking doo-doo, bro. You're not saying anything. Yo, call it how it is. This sucks. This is how to fix it. This is great. Keep doing this. Why did you do this this way? Why didn't you do it this way? Well, how come this works like this and it doesn't work like this? I don't see any of that. And if I'm wrong, you guys let me know. Yo, look at this channel. Look at this channel. This guy does this. Because I like to engage on these channels too. I like to talk about other channels and, and give shout outs to people who are trying to do their thing. 
you know there are though there are those of you that are always always coming by giving me my props and 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 supporting me on the channel and saying yo i agree blah 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 i see you guys on the forums as well you know like uh ryo hazaki's always on the forums sometimes he drops by the videos yo keep doing your thing blah 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 you know i, I see you guys out here and you want the game to be better but damn uh, uh, this past week of just people shitting on this game and most of it was microtransactions. Like, yo, you're a bunch of babies, man. The whole microtransaction thing was ridiculous to begin with, in my opinion. Because it really, I don't know. There are some items that I feel like should have been in the game to begin with. If we should Everything in Wildlands we should have had. At least the majority of them. I know there are some of you out there that are pissed about that, and I agree with you, but I just feel like there's so many more things that are wrong with the game that need fixing, that there's, we should be discussing things that they could actually improve upon, because yo, the whole microtransaction shit, you're not changing that from a company trying to make money, like, that shit is not getting changed. And that shit started, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. I don't even remember when they started introducing shit like this. And I was like, people, please stop buying this shit because this is going to be the future. And now this is where we're at. And you could come to the forums and see, hey, I bought this, but this, blah, blah. People buy this shit. And it is what it is. And you know what? That reminds me too, for Ubisoft to think about. You laid out this whole microtransaction store with all these guns blah 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 and maybe you designed this entire game around that which shame on you that was it was a terrible decision with the loot dropping and all this crap you didn't need to do that people don't need to buy half of these guns we don't need to buy half of the shit that you put in this store if you're looking at models business models that or microtransactions that you're looking to implement in your game. Why don't you guys just look at Fortnite and see why they're succeeding? And what what makes Fortnite succeed? What makes people have a thousand dollar Fortnite account that which is a free game? It's cool skins. Cool skins, guys. All those skins that you have in Wildlands, if you would just make 50 awesome skins over the course of the next two years that this game is going to basically be played or three years before you have another one or, or Sam Fisher games drop or people move on to GTA or whatever. The next GTA game, you know, whatever. Guys, every month, every other month, whatever, put a new skin in the store. 10 bucks. You know how many people are going to buy that shit? That's all people want. People just want to look cool. But don't take everything that is normal for a tactical shooter, like the cry shirt or a backpack or a hat, and make all of that shit in the, in the store. Because that is just going a step too far. We need to be able to look like a normal soldier the way we want, just like in Wildlands. But then you can go ahead and make your cool skins like you did in Wildlands with all those freaking skins. Like how you have now. You have Silverback and all these guys, I think, in the store. I can live with shit like that because those are those are dedicated skins. And you even t seemed like you took it a step further this time. The, these skins that you can buy, now you can just buy the mask. You can just buy the backpack that are on these skins. I think, cool, go that route. But then lose the looter shooter bullshit. I don't need to buy a machine gun. Stop trying to maximize every single penny. Because if you sat here and you said, hey, the Ultimate Edition isn't only the season pass. With the Ultimate Edition, you get every skin that will drop for the next year. Let me know how many people buy the Ultimate Edition next time. Because when you're, when you're out here and you purchase an Ultimate Edition for $120... Or you purchase the Wolves Edition, like, whoo, right there. And then you come in game and you realize there's still 10 items that you don't have access to. That shit makes people angry. There's no way anyone should buy Ultimate or above and get locked out of anything in the store for the first year. First six months, whatever. At least on launch. All the guys you have in the store, everyone should have that Ultimate and above. 
put that in your advertising besides a season pass that has really nothing to it. Most of the shit is going to be free in year one. And what's not is probably just going to be mediocre that no one's going to care about because the story sucks. So why would I pay for more of the story if it sucks already? You guys are designing shit ass backwards. Your stories aren't engaging. So what's the point of the ultimate edition for a season pass to engage more of the story? Baby steps, guys, baby steps. You got to nail one thing at a time and then put it in your game to make it better. Nothing here, nothing here made. There's so many things here that didn't improve upon from Wildlands. It got worse. How does that happen? It doesn't even make sense. It, re it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I should have live streamed this. 50 minutes. I'm going to upload this. I know some of you guys say, yo, I listen to this while I'm at work or I do. So keep doing your thing. Thank you very much. And I know maybe my, uh, my videos on my channel comes off more like a podcast because I am sitting here just talking. So I'd like your honest opinion, guys, if you got through this video, which I know very few of you will, people don't have attention span for this type of shit, especially when we're repeating the same shit. My closed beta, my open beta, and now this. I'm repeating a lot of the same shit, but I really got into some things this time. And really just sat down and really just wanted to talk about a lot of this shit. And I know there's so much shit that I'm going to miss. That I, I have in my head, or I had in my head this whole week that maybe I forgot to write down. And now maybe I, you know, I forgot to mention it. A lot of it's probably like gameplay issues and things like that. But bottom line... Let me know if you guys would prefer like a weekly live stream just sitting here talking about the game. Because I, th I think I'm going to think about doing something like that. Maybe I just don't know what time. Let me know what's like, where are the majority of you guys from? East Coast, West Coast. I know a lot of you are out in um, uh, Europe. UK, Germany, some of you stop by my channel. Yo, I'm in the UK. I think like Tell and Bay Z, you guys are out in the UK. So I know I, I wouldn't be able to do like too late, but I'd like to do like a one once a week live stream where we just sit down and kick it. Talk about the game. I don't know, man. I don't know. In another month, Death Stranding is coming out. I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing that. I don't know how much of that I can really cover as far as I could cover Ghost Recon because Kojima is a freaking horde. <laughs> he doesn't really, he doesn't put out everything. You know, a lot of it is still very secret. And when it comes out, then we could talk a lot about it. I don't know if any of you guys care. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out on PC. Let me know if you guys think I should get that on PC and go through that again. I played that on uh, the PS4 and I uploaded the actual just gameplay footage. I just played it recorded it, and uploaded it So that was before my channel gained a following with Ghost Recon people and all that but Let me know what you guys think in the comments like always I always enjoy discussing things with you. Thank you so much for stopping by I love each and every one of you Shout out to everybody who I gave a shout out to. Bone Frog, I see you on the forums. Virtual Chris, I see you on the forums. I see you guys trying to do your thing. Ryo Hazaki, you know, all you guys. Uh, Tell Nation. I think uh, everybody who followed me on Twitter. If I'm forgetting anybody, you know, uh, I love each and every one of you. And uh, old followers, new followers, you know, channel's growing a little at a time, but. We'll, we're still here talking about <laughs> the ins and outs of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I hope as this game progresses and gets better, but eventually does die, that a lot of you guys stay with me and we'll figure this whole thing out together and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll move forward together. All right. So shout out to everybody who comes by, stops by, stops by the, the live stream and hangs out and I love each and every one of y'all. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. Have a great time this weekend. And I will see you all in the next video. All right? All right, peace.